Okay, Steve here again, another innovation designed so that this transducer, if you've got this transducer, you can easily adjust it without having to get um, screws and things down there, having to re-silicon it, that type of thing. This makes it a whole lot easier. So basically what this is, is a uh, plastic support holder that the bolts run, run along in with a standstill plate. The bolts can move within the slot and the bolts can't turn because they're locked into, they capture into the stainless steel. So anyway, this is how it works. So you can fit it anywhere on the boat you need. I'll just turn this around so you can see it. So let's pretend this is a boat. We'll screw, we can screw it wherever we want to the transom. Let's assume there, hey? Eh? Okay, so it's fixed. You can fix that on a transom plate, wherever you want to fix. You've got a lot, lot of holes there, a lot of adjustment. So fix it wherever you want. And obviously the, these, those bolts are locked in. Transduce it to the bolts, and that way we can slide it without having to undo everything if we had this locked into the transom. You'd have to try and undo all that to try to move it down five millimeters or whatever, up or down. Whereas this, you've got four bolts to do, which you can get from this side easily. Move it where you like. We you use a 10 millimeter socket. One of these is handy. So you're better off firstly just taking out the pins because it just makes it a whole lot easier. So get rid of these pins. Pins out, bracket on. I realize you can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'll show you in a sec. Get your socket. Bracket's rock solid. Put transducer back on. So there you have it, rock solid, and you can adjust this now wherever you want. Again, I'll just move the bottom pin. Say you want to lift up 10 millimeters. Done. There's no way you could do it that quick if you didn't have the jack plate. You would have to take out the screws or bolts or whatever, and you gotta do them all up again. You gotta re-silicon the holes so the transom's sealed. You can still use the wedges if you have to, or you know you know what your, your angle is, but you still use the wedges. See in there. If you're gonna use wedges, I'll just give you longer internal bolts. Mark with a pen if you wanted. Mark where you had it before, put a pen mark, so you can have a reference to where you had it before, the last time you took it out. Rock solid, done. Obviously this is hard with the wedges because you have to take the wedges out using this particular mount. You gotta take the wedges out if you don't know what the angle is. You put one wedge in, check it, turn it around, check it. Oh, it needs to go down more, more, more configuration. So that it's a bit of a hassle having to deal with these wedges. So that's why we created a TM2 mount. So you've got one, one fixed bolt here, which will give you the angle you need. Very easy to adjust the angle on these compared to these. The thing about the jack plate is that it suits, it also suits our TM2 mount on the jack plate as well. So the original you can use and a TM2, which is a lot easier to use, has a lot of features and benefits. You can see here it sits a whole lot closer to the transom. No, you probably can't see it from that angle, but this is like almost 20 millimeters away. The transducer will sit 20 millimeters away from the hull, or the transom, sorry. On here, on the uh, on the MR1 kilowatt, that's that measurement there is like 60 odd mil. 60, 70 millimeters, then plus wedges. Now you could be adding 90 millimeters of distance there where you want to get that transducer as close as you can to the, the transit. Anyway, I'll swap it over, quickly show you how to do that. TM2 plate then goes on. This would be the ultimate setup, this would, because you could have got excellent and easy height adjustment, and you've also got easy angle adjustment. Now I'm gonna put plastic washers on these because I don't want to damage the, the plate. Gotta resell it. So that's the worst thing about this mount is that it's, it's finding all the different angles and, and heights, which makes it so difficult to play with and adjust. That's the whole reason of this design. Easy to adjust up and down, easy to adjust angle. You should be able to find your spot. Okay, so too deep in the water. Lift it up 10 millimeters. We'll just exaggerate this. Done. That's it, so you've got your height adjustment there. This particular mount is easy to change over if you have this one already. All you do is you need to just cut the, you just need to take the transducer off obviously and then just cut through this middle section here of the plastic. That'll come off and that'll easily replace here because the, the back of this mount has a slot for the cable to go through. So there we go, there's the TI jack plate as an addition. You can use it with the original mount or the, the TM2 heavy duty mount, which is rock solid. There's no vibration on that. There's no accidental kick up. I mean, with these you get, you get accidental kick up. I've seen these brand new and just pull up so simply out of their locking mechanism there at the back, the plastic, and obviously they rattle too when they're in the water. They've got a rattle to them. This is rock solid. This won't, this won't be vibrating or anything. Now these can sit lower in the water as well because of the arms here. So these will sit up to, if that was in the right position, these can sit up to 50 millimeters deeper than these. So there we go. Hope you enjoy that. And it's informative for you. Get in contact if you want any more information. We send anywhere around the world. Thanks for watching.